Evening everybody, welcome to Craft and Share and it's Thursday the 2nd of November and I'm Debbie Moore. I am so excited for the show. I can't tell you how messy this desk looks. We have a very big desk here, okay? So I've got the products, I've got the samples, I've got the demonstrations, but for once I've got things everywhere because there's so much going on. You're in for a treat. How is everybody? Have you had a good week so far? Um, we are down near Bury St Edmunds and the gales are just, you can just hear them at the moment. So uh, I send well wishes to anybody who is, well, uh, anybody around the world that's having really bad weather or having a bad day. Hopefully I can make you smile a little bit with some inspiration because tonight we are going to be in a craft along and if you didn't realise it was a craft along you can still download the papers now or during or even after the show because we leave those uh, on for about two months for people to actually catch up on the craft along. Right, let's have a look to see who is here. Oh my goodness, there's loads of you. There's Carmen from Malta, I've got Valerie, I've got Diane, I have also got Maureen, Jen, Sally, Susan saying it's chucking it down in Norfolk, no electricity for a while. RTA on the motorway, oh my goodness. Keep safe, Susan. I've got Mary saying hi, Tina. I have got Harry as well. Oh, it's just gone a bit crazy, so I think I've missed some of you. I have got Iris, I've got Janik, I've got Chris, I have got Heather, Belinda, Claire. Uh, Sandra says, hi Debbie and Dave and all you jolly crafters. Bit windy in Gosport, but dry at the moment. We are very lucky. We didn't suffer too much here today, although a bit wild during the night. Oh my goodness, it is a little bit wild out there. I've got Shadia joined us from Canada saying, just woke up in time, yay. Thank you for the fab downloads. You are very welcome. And did you get a chance to download the new art? Well, it's not new. It's a new craft along which is on Art Deco. I've got Pat join us. I have got Luke ready, steady, go. Uh, Dawn, who has been busy putting up a Christmas village. Oh my goodness, that's a little bit early for me. But as you can see, I've been designing Christmas for now what? I can't count. Basically, since April, I've been doing Christmas. Uh, I've got Mary saying hi. I've got Dee. I've got Kim. I've got Kathleen. Hello, gorgeous. So excited for tonight. Well, thank you. Hello, gorgeous back, Kathleen. Uh, and Dawn says it takes a whole month to put everything up. I like to try and get it ready for Thanksgiving holiday. Dawn, I'm really excited for you and for anybody who's doing that. As a lot of you are aware, I'm in the process of buying a new house and I can't wait till I get a house so I can actually do what you're doing, Dawn. Uh, where am I? I've got Sharon joined us, Mary, Elizabeth, Margaret, Anita, uh, Marianne, Vanessa says, good afternoon, everybody from Texas. Looking forward to some fun crafting. Well, we are going to do some fun. I am going to be uh, doing the squeezy card. If you don't know what a squeezy card is, this is a squeezy card. And this is the craft along that you can actually join me now. You can download the papers for free and you can craft along with me or you can just watch the inspiration. But then, I don't know if you can see one over there. I am going to be showing you how to create a wreath. Um, a lot of you may be aware Dawn Bibby is one of my close friends and she's been doing, she's the queen of wreaths. She's actually the queen of crafts as well. Uh, but she has been doing wreath making for years and since I've now started uh, thinking about having my own house because I've been renting for about four or five years now. Um, I have want to do my own wreath and Dawn has actually designed a brand new uh, exclusive wreath for me We're using her design. So I am going to share with you how to create a wreath and I couldn't believe how amazingly easy it is and now I'm hooked. So I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to do that as well. Uh, oh, Dawn's put congratulations on your new home. I haven't got the keys yet. I'm just waiting for the day. And when, as soon as I've got it, I'll let you know. Uh, I've got Elsie just joined us. I've got Janet from North Carolina. Where am I? I have got Philippa Wendy saying, Good evening, everybody. What beautiful papers you've given us, Debbie. The dancing one is especially relevant today. My granddaughter is competing at Blackpool. <gasps> Wendy, well, there you go. You know, I do like to surprise you now and again. And yes, I like to inspire you to have a go at different techniques. And especially if you've never had a go at doing this, when I show you how easy it is to create not only the wreath, 
as well as that dimensional squeezy card you're going to go I'm going to have a go at that and that is what I would like you all to do uh, I've got Betty saying hi I've got Denise just joined us thank you for cheering me up last week after being in hospital well Denise I hope I did uh, and thank you for the stars and hopefully I can cheer anybody up that's feeling a little bit down Maureen says my prize was that fab oh you got your prize okay that is brilliant and don't forget some lucky winners are going to win tonight as well oh my goodness it's gone a bit crazy I'm trying to keep out there's loads of you on tonight I've got Victoria I have got Anne who says hello Debbie and David international craft family I'm on my way to Birmingham for the craft show so I won't be able to stay long <gasps> enjoy it and keep safe with this weather uh, Marion saying hi and Leslie's put oh Debbie my printer and laptop I've decided not to work so we'll have to watch tonight that's fine you know and if anybody doesn't want to craft along with me that's entirely fine but don't forget you can actually watch this back and then you can download it and when you have a second or when your printer and laptop is back on you can craft along with me uh, I've got Marsha from Arizona I've got Jeanette and Paula just joined us also from DM Delights Elizabeth says, love doing the wreaths, made loads last year for my church funds. Oh, well, I'm so hooked with them, Elizabeth. Just wait till you see what done. I'll give you a little sneak look. Uh, there you go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Just have to wait. Oh, talking of waiting. Cheers, everybody. Um, art deco mug, because it's an art deco uh, show tonight. And for those people wondering when my next release of mugs are, keep an eye out next week there might be a cheeky new collection coming out uh where am i i have got um denise has joined us from wet and windy durham hi denise i've got jane also she's saying evening all art deco is my favorite well jane you have just told me or reminded me i should say about my like and share so the like and share this week is so easy because I'm just curious, everybody. So the like and share, we're going to put it up on the on the actual, um, there you can see it on the screen. Do you make art deco cards? That's what I'd like to know. And that will tell me out of everybody watching, whether on YouTube or Facebook, whether you like my art deco collections. Um, and I'm just curious how many out of everybody makes cards of them. So would you please like um, the show? okay over on youtube or press follow to subscribe or subscribe to follow i should say and over on facebook could you do the same like and share this page and let me just say yes or no i don't think there's another answer or maybe <laughs> there might be another answer and yes i am a bit hyper i've had i've been on the coffee uh um I've been really high for trying to get all this show ready and there's loads of new things happening in the next few weeks which I'm so excited to, to be telling you very very soon so oh my goodness we've got more people just joined us I've got Susan over on YouTube I have got oh my goodness Margaret uh, has joined us I have also got Jen uh, oh Victoria's Potter yes she loves Art Deco loads of people putting love love Art Deco Jane says hi Hi, I've just come from the NEC and I'm going again tomorrow so enjoyed it well I'm glad you did unfortunately we had previous commitments so that is why we don't have a stand there this year but thank you for joining me tonight uh, I'm looking forward to showing you all the different techniques that we have now remember okay we will pick a winner tonight and also we'll pick another one that will be announcement uh, will be over the weekend so you get two chances for the like and share especially if you are watching this on catch up um, it's something that we've just started to do um, and also just talking about something that we just started to do did anybody see our show on Tuesday and now you can just see my poppy there so you see the enamel so on Tuesday if you missed the show you can watch on catch up I we've got the new enameling magic back in stock and I was showing you how you can create your own poppies um, um, if you want to do a poppy badge it can be anything or you can just enamel so this has actually been done with enamel and it's been cracked so that is what I did on Tuesday it feels like ages ago but today is only Thursday have you ever had one of those weeks where the days go by quickly but then they feel like a long time ago or is it just me <laughs> Uh, I've got Betsy joined us saying hello Debbie and Dave and all you do crafters out there I get to watch part of it today live I'm so excited love art decor love and blessings all the way from Betsy in North 
I think that is Carolina. Hopefully that's right, Betsy, because it just says North. Uh, Mary's also over on YouTube just joined you. Thank you, everybody, for joining me tonight. Who haven't I said hello to? I have got Pauline says, hi, all. Love my Thursday evening visits to, to you. Well, I'm so glad. I've got Heather. I've got Kaya. Uh, says, I've done a few Art Deco cards for weddings. I've got Sally said, this will be my first Art Deco card that I'll make, but love all the images and designs. So many more to come. <gasps> Just wait. We've got a new collection coming out, Sally. We are. It's actually potentially going to be one of the biggest collections I've done in a while because I keep adding it. Art Deco is... I mean, I love all my collections, but Art Deco is one of ones I am known for most because I just love the fashion, the era, the the architecture. I don't think I would actually fit into that era because I'm probably a bit too outspoken or so my mum used to say to me. Um, but it is something close to my heart. And, you know, we're quite, Debbie Moore Designs is often known as the home of Art Deco because of the amount of designs. We've been doing Art Deco now for, I think going on uh, 13 years. So every year we bring out uh, new collections, maybe one or two collections. So we've got a new one coming out very soon. Uh, I have got Teresa saying hi, Carol. I've got Christine. Uh, I have got Anna. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to say hello to everybody. And I have got, oh, uh, Sandra says, yes, Art Deco is my go-to all the time. Love it. Good to know. And Christine's but good evening, everybody. Weather is horrible here in Redditch, West Midlands, I do Art Deco cards amongst others. Thank you. Thank you everybody for letting me know. I've got John joined us as well uh, and I have got, my goodness, I'm trying to, Dee said, uh, tonight will be my first Art Deco card but I do love the collections you do. Oh, thank you Dee. Um, so I can see loads of you have joined. Um, if I haven't said hello to you, let me know. We're going to, because I have so much on tonight's show, I'm going to quickly start the show and then I, if I see anybody else pop up, I'll say hello. There's quite a lot of you on tonight. I can see that Mandy's just joined us over on YouTube saying hi, everybody. Looking forward to the show. And Caroline has joined us as well saying hi, Debbie and Deb. I've got into crafting through you and Art Deco. I love Art Deco. Oh, it's lovely to know. Christine says hi, Debbie and Deb. Just on a quick break at work. Oh, well, thank you, Christine, for joining me. That is so good. That is so sweet. It's really lovely to have so many of you from around the world. And it really really feels now after, is it three years now or maybe over three years, we feel like a family and some of you have just found us and some of you have been following me for years and it's just lovely and um, as you know we will continue doing our Thursday shows and we've done nearly every Thursday and if not we kind of move it uh, but we try to keep our Thursdays so just remember to keep an eye out and set your reminder for the following Thursdays this month because I have lots of treats for everybody. Uh, I have got Rita just joined and saying, love your art decor, so pretty and so fancy. Always receive with awe and pleasant. They like to save them as a special souvenir. Oh, Rita, that is lovely. I have got, Pauline says, twice a week have to get a Debbie Moore fix. Well, yes, we do. <laughs> we do do Tuesdays at the moment, but that's not every week. Um, I, actually, however, next Tuesday we're actually doing a show um, but we try we will be putting up a uh, program on our website we trying to not uh, change our website but just make it a little bit more get more information on really because people have been asking me when we'll be doing our lives so we're trying to update it all the new products coming out you know we've got a new uh, creative design team so we need to get more of those we put more sample cards on and just loads of things going on at the moment which is brilliant and before anybody asks yes I'm still taking it easy <laughs> I just love my job I love to share I love into I love designing and I think I've got one of the best jobs in the world not only do I get to design and play I get to share it with all you wonderful people out there and I just think that's amazing and if you can make somebody smile every day by sending a card or a project I think that is just a beautiful thing to do right everybody I can see more people just joined us Michelle and Sue thank you for joining me as well tonight remember if anybody has any questions let me know we are going to put the link when I say we I'm going to ask Dave if we can put the link up on Facebook and YouTube just in case you weren't aware that tonight is a craft along 
Now, a craft along show basically means that once a month, normally the beginning of the month, we do a show, a live show that inc also includes some free papers that you can download. And if you want to, you can craft along with me. And I do something different. So this today's show is I'm showing you how this is called a squeezy card. It also goes completely flat, but it's a squeezy card. Now this one's called an aperture squeezy card, but you can not have the aperture in and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. Okay. But the papers that you see, they are the free downloads, but you know what I'm like? I gave you more. So not only did I give you these three papers, because there's this paper, there's the gold paper that you can see there and the design sheet. I gave you a green set as well just in case you wanted a different colorway so i gave you that option so dave will put up the link um hopefully over on youtube and also on facebook so if anybody hasn't been able to download it you'll be able to download it during the show or afterwards and watch and catch up now the show that we're doing it as i said to you earlier it we do this every week it's a demonstration and live show now with the shows themselves as you can see, it's interactive, especially if you're brand new to the show. Welcome to my crazy crafting family. Uh, the idea of the show is to be inspired uh, with a new technique. I teach different techniques and I also share with you some um, latest products that we've got out uh, or what we have on promotion. I say this every week. You do not have to buy anything unless you want to because it is an interact interactive demo and buying show. To order, all you need to do is use a code. So we have a code system. Now the codes are live on the website and also you can order during the show. Uh, what, so for example, the first item, if I get it, it is, oh, we've got a gold metallic paint back in stock. The gold paint, which is the uh, silver and gold paint, which is FB2770, there you go. Two sets of paint, two ounces for 6.98. And these are deco art, which are a renowned worldwide paint. That is great. And I use this paint for metallic. It's specifically, and we have them in because I'll be showing you some, uh, I've got some MDF on the show today. So that's what we have on the show. Now, if you want to order this, you can just put FB2770 into your basket and it'll be allocated to you. Now, how the system works is this show will be left open until Sunday. However, the show process, we started to be processed from tomorrow over the weekend till next Monday. So you, if you place an order, you will start to receive your invoice. Now the invoice will be sent out through an email process. So it's a little, so you get a link, you click on it and you can see what you've ordered. And if you want to add to it or take it off, you've got that option as well. And you can click on it and pay by debit card, credit card, and even PayPal. Now, the beauty about it is it is a system that you can deal with, change it if you want, or you can ring the office and they will actually amend it. Or you can pay over the phone, which is 07553 457 168. You can send us an email at info at debbiemoredesigns.com and our Facebook is at Debbie Designs. Our website is debbiemoredesigns.com. Don't forget to make sure you go to the dot com. Now, as I've been chatting, I can see more people have joined us. Thank you. You'll notice that the link has actually now gone on to uh, YouTube as well, uh, I think on YouTube, uh, as well as Facebook. Uh, I've got, oh my God, I've got Lucille's just joined us from Paris so saying hello. I've got Sue also has just joined us and I think, and I've got a Teresa as well and another Belinda. So thank you everybody. And Zoe's put out on the town tonight. We'll catch up tomorrow. Have a good evening, everybody. Thank you, Zoe. Yes, make sure you tune in uh, and watch on Catch Up. So we're going to get started with the show because there's so much going on. Uh, now, remember, if you have any questions or queries, please let us know. Now, I've spoken to Jessica today and she gave me an update with Everything Is. So a lot of we're waiting for a lot of items. They've all just started to come in. So Dave... Um, has been at adding products and Jessica has been shipping and Zoe's been shipping products out today. So uh, you'll find that if you're waiting for an order, they've already started to be shipped out. With regard to any messages on Facebook, we're totally up to date or were about an hour and a half ago. On uh, the website, or I should say the email system, I think Jessica said she was up to the 27th. Um, I'm sure that's what she said. So, however, there's some encouragement. You can always ring the office tomorrow and she will be happy to help.
So everybody, are we excited for today, tonight's show I should say? I am. Right, okay, so I will put the picture on this first item because I've just realised that my samples don't have the actual labels on. So this is how the paint will come. It's from Deco Art. So this is FB2770. Now this is the paint that I tend to use quite a lot. Yes, we've got new systems in place. Wrong way, that way. That way, there you go. So you can see there that they are the two, uh, two ounces that you're going to get. So you've got to get silver and you're going to get gold. Now this is what it'll look like. We'll put the top camera on. I'm just, I've painted one of the wreath centers. There we go. We'll move that. We'll take that art deco off now. The deco art paint. There you go. So you can see it's very shiny, very metallic. Okay. So if you want the paint, it's FB2770 and it does a very good covering. And I want, so it depends on, uh, depending on your MDF. Sometimes you need one coat, sometimes you need two, but obviously you can keep adding coats and obviously it just gives you that metallic finish. Now that was FB2770. Now I am going to show you some products and then we are going to demonstrate so you'll understand them a little bit more. Um, so also what we have on the show is um, Dawn's Ribbon Wrap. There we go. So we've got a ribbon wrap for, let me put this to one side, for um, FB2771 and it's 489. So we're going to start our demonstration and then we're going to come back to the product because obviously you're looking at this thinking, what is this Debbie? What is the point of this? So we're going to start with our demonstration. I'm going to have a mouthful of tea. Don't forget if anybody has any questions, please let me know. And then we're going to do our wreath demos and then we're going to be doing later on in the show, our, um, fabulous craft along. Okay, so when it comes to wreath making, now remember I am pretty new to this. Um, oh my goodness, Elizabeth just put her, uh, received all my orders today, to date today. Just choose as invoice and anything tonight will be outstanding. Well, that's brilliant. We are getting up to date. And thank you, Betty, for joining us and Julie and Terry. We're just about starting, so you just write in town. So one of the things um, that I have now into um is wreath making dawn bibby you can see there's a wreath out there i'll show you a bit more closely um in a second dawn bibby is a close friend of mine and we were talking about wreaths and uh, she said you really need to do a wreath and she has designed for me um a special wreath and now when it comes to do the wreath so let me just show you this one we'll come back to it so if i lift this up you can see when you do a wreath there is a lot of material you get everything. The one that uh, we've got three wreaths on today. So normally you will get everything in a bag that you'll need. Okay. And this one here is the one that Dawn has designed for me. It comes with instructions and it also comes, oops, I'm knocking things over with one of these. So you get everything that you need right down to, as you can see, your little embellishment uh, for the center. Uh, so you'll have everything that you need, including the instructions and how it works. Okay. So we're going to put, um, how we, I'm going to go show you how easy it is to do the wreath and then we'll go back and have a look at the product. So that might be the easiest bit, especially if you like me and have never done it before. So as you can see, I've started the wreath. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So this is called the Holly wreath and Dawn has designed this for me and she's designed it because I, these are one, I love traditional colors. Uh, and I just loved this gorgeous Holly, gorgeous ribbon. Now the ribbons that you're going to get in this kit, you're going to get, let me just have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, six different types of ribbon. And then the idea is you cut them up to a certain size and this is how easy it is to do the wreath. Okay. Now don't forget everything is in the kit that you'll need all the ribbon. However, to cut the right size, and this is why you need this is if I take out of here, just one of them, there we go. 
So because you get them all like a, you'll get all the yards already, I need to make sure they're the right size to create these bows because that's all it is everybody, it's just a bow. So anybody can do it. It's great for the whole family. And literally all you do is I'm using Dawn Bibby's uh, ribbon wrapper and you put one there and then you put the next one to there and then you cut it at that point and that gives you the right size that you need and then all you do is fold this like so to that bit and then cut that tail it and then do the same on the other fold it over and tail it I suppose you could put the two together but I do them individually it's entirely up to you and then all you need to remember is the order so then as you can see my next one on this kit it's a gorgeous red taffeta well it's like goldy red and then this is literally everybody you put this in so we've got the kits on the show but we've also got them individually so you can have a go at doing this exact kit so look what we're doing this has been designed for by dawn for me so it's exclusive and then i tie it in a bow open it up make sure you open it up to show the beautiful colors and then you push it and then you get the next one so you can see literally what i'm doing okay now this you would just keep on doing it I'll be honest with you, this is my first ever wreath. I mean, I did a few and then Dawn gave me some tips when I went to see her recently. What she has made sure is I need to make sure that they are equal. It makes it helps when you create your bow. And just simply create the bow and then pull nicely. You'll get some, you get different, what, look, I mean, look how beautiful that is. And you simply just go. Then you get the taffeta. Some of the ribbons have wire in. Some of them are different textures and that gives you dimension with them all. So you can see what I'm doing. Now, the ribbon wrapper that we have is FB2771, 489. So you will always get the right size. So I've used a 12 inch. You can use a small because you get different size wreaths. This I think is a lovely size wreath. Well, you're going to put it in the middle of the table or whether you're going to put it on the doorway or in the fireplace. It's gorgeous. And then where am I? So then I have got the next one is the red one. And then simply you just follow in the pattern. So in the kits, if you want to know for the kits, everything is included in it. So obviously you've got so many yards in each one. You also get the ring. You'll also get the um, embellishment as well. Or I should say the pick. I've learned that these are called picks. So you'll get that as well. So as you can see, I'm going round each one. And while I've been chatting, I have just simply done one section so when you get it home obviously you'll get them all the ribbons rolled but then look what I've done I've already cut them ready for this one so I need another one of this so you can see how easy it is I just need another one of that one so this one is that's why it's called a holly because it's the main one so you just need to make sure you pull tight and then tie a bow. So I tend, this is the toughest one. Well, not toughest. This is the thickest one because this is the, the luxury ribbon, really. So then I put through and pull. And then what I need to do with this one. See, I've only been doing it, what, 10 minutes, I should say in total so all I'm doing is redoing them remaking sure my bows look nice and then what happens is you keep doing that and as you can see I've still got a bit more also in the kit you will get this you'll get enough material to make your um, extra bow that will go on and then also if I show you this bit I'm trying not to we can't zoom out unfortunately 
You then have this that you can cut off and put it in a wire and that will go behind there like so. So you can see that what you're going to end up with if I do it that way. Okay, so let me just recap with the products that we've used. Oh, and the last thing is I am going to put in, when I've done the whole thing, I haven't decided whether I want one of these that says Merry Christmas and that's what I painted in the middle of the wreath. I'm going to put it in with some wire or some clear thread or we've got some large baubles that you can hang. So we're going to put at the top, move this out of the way and I'm just going to show you by using the one because we've got a couple of kits on. So this is a kit that Dawn has already done. So you could have that hanging, obviously you can paint that. These are the new wreath uh, centres. So the FB2772 are the wreath centres. So if you like the idea and want to have some wreath centres, okay, I will be put finishing off my wreath and putting that in and I'll put a picture on tomorrow. But these are the wreath centres. You get one large one and you get this large... Uh, bauble. I mean you could use that, I mean we've made it bigger so it hangs in the middle of the wreath and then you have that as well. And so this is something totally new everybody, okay. So if you wanted the wreath centres they are FB2772 uh, and you can see that you have got the large one, this is, you may recognise the design, we do have some smaller baubles but we've made it bigger so it hangs in the middle of the wreath and then we have that one so if you want that. But then when it comes to the um, the bow kit, so I should say the, the, the holly bow wreath kit, so this one, if you're wanting this particular one, with has everything, so you get everything. Um, it comes to you like this, okay, with instructions, and you also get the ring itself. It's thirty-two ninety-nine, everybody. And what number did you say the single wreaths were? The single ones on their own, Dave, were. Apart from the wire rings. Yes. One A. And if you want to have a go at doing them on your own, we have these as well, which is FB2771A199. So essentially, it comes down to having a go. I've just showed you how easy it is. You simply are making a bow. So by getting this and also getting this, you'll be able to create your own wreaths. Okay, so that is that one but if you want more as a kit form we'll put those kits back on again so the one the holly one which is my new one which is gorgeous and i've got limited stock because dawn has done so much for me so that is this one and it's gorgeous i will get the rest finished um and put it a, a, a picture on tomorrow and they'll all the kits come like this with instructions and you get the wreath that is for the holly wreath it is fb2773 which is the holly bow wreath kit and we'll put that code back on normally 35.99 for dawn's wreath kits the amount of material that you get but it's 32.99 so that's if you want one of these okay however if you would like this one which I showed you a second ago, which is the snowman wreath. Okay, so essentially you can see why it's called a snowman because you got the snowman in character on the ribbon. Absolutely gorgeous and I think our new wreath centres finish it off. So I'm going to, and you can hang it up, so you can see that this is this one. So if you want the snowman bow wreath kit, it's $32.99. However, if you want something totally different, Dawn has told me that she has just got stock of this one. It's a navy blue one. It's called Navy Tree. Okay, gorgeous design. And it's FB2775. 
So if you want that one, that is $32.99. It does come with three snowflakes as well, big snowflakes, that this one doesn't have on. But it is, obviously, if you're going for a navy and silver theme, it is very beautiful. So they are the three reefs if anybody wants one. And then, obviously, just to, to recap, if you just want to have a go yourself, we have the reset that's painted this is how it'll come or should say the actual uh, MDF recenters which is FB2772 and that's only 4 99 brilliant price you can even use that um, for decoration you can even hang it if you don't want to put it on your wreath you can actually put it in on a DIY so you've got that option and then the other thing that I want to show you is these on their own these are only $1.99, everybody, which is FB2771A. So it's worth having a go at creating your own wreath. So this is what I am now hooked with. These are the ring bases that will come to you if you want to have a go at doing it. So just to re and then this one here, okay, is the ribbon wrap, basically. So you've got the two different sizes, and you wrap the ribbon round, and that is fb 2771 so just to recap on how easy it is so this is this new kit which is the holly one you simply make sure you remember the color combinations so i am going to get the next one which is a taffeta and all you do everybody is tie a bow i'm sure you can all have a go oh shirley says i've made 12 for so far this year for Christmas my goodness 12 I've all, <laughs> I've not even done this one uh, I can see that Jill has joined us and also Cynthia uh, and Karen and Julia thank you for joining us uh, and Karen says have just started getting into making art deco cards or oh, thank you so as you can see all you do is simply create bows to create and then when you finished you add a large bow and a piece at the bottom. And then my plan is, I think I might do that in the middle or I might paint or we'll see what it looks like when I finish. I might hang one of these from the center when I have done. Okay, so that is regarding the wreath, everybody, uh, sections that we have. And now we're gonna go into the paper crafting. So let's move that to one side. So if anybody, um, remembers a couple of weeks ago I had on this now this was back in stock and this is FB2776 and this was essentially um no sorry not 76 this we had this on a couple of weeks ago but we were asked if we had any colors we now have the color brights now in stock I mean look at this 36 sheets FB2776 only 4.99 everybody uh, and as you can see, there is there is so much of colour palettes. So even though it's called brights, you've got all these colours that you will need. I've just noticed that there's more messages that I have missed. Uh, I have got Belinda, I've got Denise, Mary, uh, Carol, Jane, Sarah, loads of you. I don't know what happened to my life, so sorry about that, everybody. Um... Bella, Diane's asked me how is Bella, yes, because unfortunately she had to cancel her live yesterday. Uh, she is still a little bit under the weather, but hopes to be get better very, very soon. Okay, um, and Jeanette's put, Debbie, please will you do the Christmas Art Deco Lady on download? The one I mean is the front of the wreath on the shelf. Sorry. Oh, right. Uh, Jeanette, she's already down as a download. She's in a kit, I think. Um, hope the like and share is to tell me whether um, whether you like Art Deco. Have you made an Art Deco card? That's a like and share. Uh, Terry says, since I'm in the US, I'll give a try using ribbon. I already have. Thank you for the idea. You are very welcome. Have a go at making wreaths. Honestly, it is just brilliant. Right, okay, so we are now going to move on. Um, Pauline says, the pad reminds me of a rainbow when I saw this morning. Yes, very true. 
So we do these now. So this is the bright ones. And then obviously we did the metallics a couple of weeks ago. Same price. Well, actually, it's not just metallics. As you can see, there's a glitter. You know what I'm like for glitter. Okay. And so we now, so this is this one that we now have in stock. Both of them are the same price. So if anybody wants one, please let me know. Right. So then we are moving on with regard to our new collection. Um or should say a new download that you've got today for the craft along. So as you know, we're going to be doing a craft along very, very soon. And this is the collection that you can see. And this is our squeezy card. And we'll show you how to do it. However, this card came from issue 58. And we have it down as a download. Um, this is it here. If anybody hasn't got it, we do have stock of it left. Yes, Elizabeth, you can have a metallic kit, no problem. Uh, Nick, Nicholas Port, hello, sorry I'm late. Family all here, but they're just popped to us, so I've crept on. Hello. Um, so this particular kit, I should say, um, magazine is from our Opulent Moments collection. And if I show you some of the designs, I just love them. So this is a digital download now. Um, if anybody wants it as a physical kit, let me know. And as I said, we do have a handful of stock left. And as you can see, you're going to get some gorgeous designs with this. Okay. And you're going to be able to create endless, beautiful cards that giving you loads of dimensional things. I can see Michelle's just joined us. Hi, Michelle. Oh, and she's put, I have made a read full of masculine things my brother liked for his grave or oh, Michelle that is a really good idea as you can see these are some of the cards that are from this collection so if you liked what you saw with the little download and want more of that one this is the magazine to go for so this is a digital uh, collection and as you can see you are going to get loads of inspiration loads of ideas as you can see, they are the cards, techniques, a great learning way. And then you've got the papers. Now, the reason why I've got them like this is because you would have got this as the free download for today. Uh, and also, if I go to the back, if you want this as a physical kit, everybody, you can actually, a uh, physical magazine, you get a set of dies. But obviously, as a download, you won't get the dies in it, but you will get the papers so the papers you'll be able to do again and again. And then also in here, if I keep going, you get a side scene, volume three, full download collection. So this collect this kit's worth over £40 for only £9.99. So if you want this, pop it in. Um, pop it in your little comments, FB277. And that is for issue 58. Now we are going to be doing, as I said, one of the projects from the magazine, which is this one. And I'm going to be going through the techniques of how to create this fabulous card um, in about, probably in about 10 minutes or so. Um, Eileen's put, I made an art deco card for my daughter's birthday on the 5th of this month and then made a few extra put in my, in my stash. Well, I am so glad everybody's loving art deco. It's lovely to see so many of you. Um, Betty says, I've made a wreath for every season, but we'll definitely be making a wreath with bows. Well, have a go, because honestly, once you had a go, you will get hooked. So remember, we're going to have a go at doing this in a second. But because I've mentioned Art Deco, I need a drum roll. Very important. So I have got, thank you. Can you tell everybody that he's really missing his drums? Not long now until he can get that, until we get a house that you can actually get them out again. So if you didn't know, Dave plays the drums hasn't played them for some time because we've had to pack up the drums when uh, we uh, started to rent house and so he's very good at doing the drum roll so the next item is to give you a sneak look and I'm only going to give you a sneak look because not everything's come in because it's literally a new brand new collection and it is gorgeous art deco moonlight dreams now this is going to be um it's not just going to be for Christmas. So I've designed it. As you can see, it can be for any time. I've designed it for throughout the year. So you have some Christmas 
elements on there and I'll show you in a second but also you will have every day and it's FB2778 if you want it as a USB key it's going to be one of the biggest USB keys in Art Deco I've done in a long time and you just I'm so excited for you because you know I'm going to jam pack it pack the collection so if you don't want it as a USB key we do in it as a download as well which is FB2779 same content the only difference is you don't get this you'll get a link so if you want it allocate it or just put FB2779 into your comments and if we show you some of the designs so we've got some every day so obviously as well as evening we've got doing the days as well and you've got some fun quotes on there uh, time to drink champagne and dance on the table. Yes, that's for sure. Um, it really is a fabulous new range. I love her. She's new. Look at her and the dress and the detail in that. So obviously this is a Christmas sheet that you've got. One of the things we have done is we have put in uh, some brand new colour palettes. So one of the new colour palettes is this lovely, almost like a, a, a jade teal if there's such a thing but what we've done is we've given you some ombres on it as well and put some colorways in there now if you have any of our nesting dies you can actually use those on there so as you can see you can actually die cut them out or you've got even got these these are from our standard essential dies as well or you can just fussy cut them and the other thing that we are going to be doing is it's very exciting this collection will have some svg files on so that is something that is totally new. So if you want it as a download, put FB2779. If you want it as a USB key, everybody, it is FB2778, okay? And these prices are, are on special, and then um, they'll be going up to the full price in a few weeks' time, everybody. So you get a chance to pre-order yours now. Uh, and then the other one I wanted to show you, this is one of my favourite characters, and we've made her in the red colourway. So we've not, we've, so you might recognise her from last year, but we've also taken the, because she was in pinks and pastels, we've now put her into this colour palette, so you're going to get to be able to use her um, for every day from the dark colour palettes and also Christmas which you haven't been able to do before so we've actually got more characters but I've just given you a sneak look of what we've got so far um, uh, what is Dawn? the Dawn's put the teal colour matches your ring oh yes very this was my mum's ring Dawn but yes I can see that uh, I can see loads of messages coming through um, oh Lois can't decide what wreath she wants to do first um elizabeth says you really do get hooked on wreath making the ruler is a big help for sizing your ribbons have a go yes and then i've got a message from ng from south africa saying thank you so much for the beautiful download tonight i've also got two christmas downloads collections to start oh wow uh and terry says i like the way you go to past issues to demos i hope you continue as this as it allows me to time to receive the magazines we always do a bit of everything because in the magazines so this is a past issue but it's one of my favorites because it's art deco uh, and I try to put different techniques in all the magazines uh, Denise says have made some art deco cards uh, can I have the physical kit is that of the magazine you meant Denise the answer is yes I can we can add that to you as well uh, right okay oh Lois is put I'm so excited for this new collection it looks so regal it really is uh, it is so much fun so with uh, and Jane's put she's beautiful would look lovely framed very true you can make a cans uh, canvas on it as well so that is the USB key FB2778 and then the download is FB2779 so and then what we're going to do is we're going to get started now with the demo yes Judy you can have the magazine too if you want it Okay, now if anybody has any questions, let me know. Uh, if anybody's just joined us, welcome. Uh, we're going to start our new craft along um, literally in a few minutes. So we're going to get started because there's so much to go through. Okay, so Dave has put the link. I think he's put it on YouTube and also on Facebook. So if you want to actually uh, download your papers, you can have it. Thanks, Denise, for confirming. I'll get it allocated. So you would have seen on the download so we're going to move that out of the way so this is from issue 58 
Karen says, Debbie, your magazines are probably one of the best ones out there, especially for the content and value. Oh, Karen, thank you for that. You know how hard we work on them. The beauty with our magazines is I get to control what I put into them. And if you actually manage to buy the latest issue, which is 62, and I think I'm not... 66, not 62. <laughs> Well, it's 66, uh, the latest issue, and we literally have probably about 10 left, or maybe 9. That's the biggest value I've ever done in a long time, because normally I would say the magazines have about £40 worth of goodies. Issue 66 had about £60 worth of goodies in there. Okay, so, um, we are going to get started. So, this is the project that we're doing. Um, oh, Karen, thank you for that. She's what you generally mean that they are great. Well, just wait. I'm working on the next magazine. I'm going to spoil you. Every every time I design a new magazine, I have loads more ideas. Uh, so when it comes to this, people have been asking me, what do you need? So let me move this out of the way. We're going to put issue 58 if you want the digital download option of this, because don't forget, it comes with 40 pull-out papers. So this is on the Art Deco. So you're going to get all these papers, and they're just beautiful. Don't you just wish you were in that era? They were so glamorous, don't you think? Okay, so you are going to get gorgeous colorways, there's that sheet there. You've got, as you can see, you've got the Christmas. It's a Christmas collection, but also we've done them. So you can do uh, one of my top tips is if you forget somebody's Christmas card, send them a New Year card. So you've got designs for Happy New Year in there as well. And that's what we've done with that. Um, Anna says, love my magazine. The best thing I bought was my subscription. Oh, thank you. Uh, so you, with this collection, you can see, look, that's lovely, isn't it? And that's for a uh, new year. So you're going to be able to use this um, for Christmas and also New Year. And oh, as you can see, that's very wintry. So there'll be loads of different ones. And if you've got any of our nesting dyes, you can use them with that. Or you can just fussy cut them out. And of course, it's a digital download, $9.99 for £40 worth of goodies. So we are going to create a squeezy card. So I'm going to talk to you about some top tips about squeezy cards. Because once you've got the idea, so this is the card that we're going to do, you need to get yourself two pieces of card. Get yourself a pencil, a ruler if you've got one, or a paper trimmer. I know some of you have already cut up your elements, okay? And I'm going to show you how to create this. Once you've got the technique of it, this is called a squeezy card because it does this. Uh, you can then, here's one here that we've done, very similar, but in black card as well. So you get the idea. Once you get the technique, you can do the same again with other designs. So we're going to get started and I'm going to share with you some top tips how to create this card now you should see the link so if you haven't downloaded it you can watch it or you can be downloading as we speak and then what I need is find what I've done my pieces of card oh there we go so we're going to get started with the card elements oh I've got Anita just joined us from Honolulu hi Anita and Karen's put looking forward to the demo. Well, I hope everybody's managed to download the papers. If not, don't forget to do it. Now, with regard to this technique, it's very straightforward, everybody. So what we're going to do is we are going to, first of all, you need your bases. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim down two pieces of card. So this, everybody, is just my standard white card. I use it as a printer. It's my printable card, but I also use it as a base card. It's about 250 GSM, but it doesn't matter um, if you have thicker or a little bit thinner because you're going to put two together and you'll find that that will give it enough weight. But you do need to cut each of them down to 21 by 24 centimetres. So what I'm doing is I'm using my paper trimmer and standard A4 card is 21 by 29.7 so I don't need to trim this side down I just need to trim this side down so if you've never used a paper trimmer before what's very important is make sure your arm is totally out because obviously this can you see it makes that click and then all I'm doing is lining up to 24 and make sure it's up to the top because otherwise, if it's off a little bit, that's where you get it wonky. So push it right up to the top, put that down, cut that off. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. 
and then do the same on the other side 21 by 24 and then simply cut that off the next thing that I'm going to do everybody is I need to score and you're going to do both but you can do one at a time so a couple of weeks ago well I keep saying a couple of weeks ago I think it might have been um, maybe a month ago we had our I think you saw them you got a set of three um, different embossing tools I think they're for 3.99 or 4.99 eight different sizes so you need to decide which size you want I want that size so here's another thing you need to bear in mind these are all different so whichever size you use it puts on a couple of mil so whichever tool whichever one you use to score because we're going to score now make sure you use the same one don't turn it over otherwise it'll go be out a little bit so that's a top tip to remember so the first one that I'm going to do is 2.2 so I'm just going to push that to the top and move that to 2.2 like so and then I'm going to score so I'm just going to use this tool and simply score so there you go I've scored it now you can use oh Terry said what is the measurements in inches I wonder if I give this to Dev if he can work it out for me. So the measurements in centimetres are 2.2 and 4.3. Okay, into centimetres, and then and then the overall is 21 by 24. So Terry, Dev is on it. We're going to see if we can work it out because I don't know. I'll be honest. I need to learn a bit more about inches. So while he's working it out, so the first one was 2.2, the next one everybody is 4.3. So I'm moving that to 4.3, there we go. Make sure it's pushed to the top like so. And then do exactly the same. And what you're going to do is those two measurements, you're going to turn over your card and repeat the same. 2.2, push up and then score now you can use a scoreboard if you've got one um, I tend to use the channel of my paper trimmer because I find it much easier to do but it's entirely up to you and then the other one is 4.3 there we go so that is one side so you can see now I've got a score line on one side and then another and then the same on the other and it's fold in and out can you see so you end up with that that's one side and so you do the same with the other so essentially um, it is 2.2 so I'm doing that again now this is one of my favorite top tips use the channel you don't need an, a different tool and then it's 4.3 exactly the same there we go and then do turn it over 2.2 there we go put that down score down the channel of your paper trimmer and then four what did I just say 4.3 again and do the same there so you're going to do that on both pieces of pay of card I should say so you're going to end up with you can see one two three four but I'm not going to fold this because I want to show you how to do the aperture and what I mean by that you are going to be creating this now going back to the squeezy cards I've showed you how to do this if you put two of those together you can make a box squeezy card you might see this quite often okay however if you are wanting to put an aperture in there's a couple of things that you can do you can cut it out manually but when it's like this if you have a die a nesting die um, if you have a nesting die you can simply put your nesting die over and cut it out but I'm going to share with you a top tip if you haven't got nesting dies because I want to cut out this measurement right so the next step is to create something 
to create to cut out your rectangle and what I mean by that is I've measured out 6.8 centimeters by 12 because what you're going to do everybody this is going to go in the middle so you I wanted all I've done is I've taken my topper and this is a top tip everybody take your topper can you see if I do this and I'm thinking right okay I need everybody to be able to see this topper so I've just then made it a little bit bigger and I've ended up with 16.8 by 12 and then what I'm doing is deciding where about I'm putting that so I am lining it making sure it's straight having this in front of me like so and as you can see it's going to go on here now I'm just I'm going to use a pen so you can see what I'm doing we are going to be cutting this out and I'm just going to draw around this like so so I'm going to be cutting that aperture out however here's another top tip you decorate it first so then when you cut it out it's flush can you see that otherwise how would you decorate it it would be a little bit of a nightmare you could cut loads of strips off okay to do that so I'm going to share with you now some top tips on how to decorate does anybody have any questions um, oh Dave has said right for those people who need to know about inches for 2.2 let me just write this here so for 2.2 centimeters is a seventh of an eighth inch is that right seventh eighth of an inch my pens just run out just one minute under here there is my nice pen oh I'll use that one I like that one and then we have got 4.3 centimeters is wait a minute sorry everybody my writing's terrible what's that eight and a quarter inches I'm looking at the wrong one sorry I'm doing a right state one eleventh of a sixteenth inch one and 11 Terry what have you started one and eleven sixteenth inch wow that is honestly uh, crazy uh, Leah I'll have a look into that why that's not turned up you should have had it by now I'll get Jessica to contact you tomorrow uh, and then so they were the two score lines the size of the um, this size here okay was 24 centimeters which is nine seven sixteenths of an inch by 21 centimeters which is eight and a quarter of an inch I will put these on YouTube um, so Caroline's put Debbie I was going to ask what you do for the aperture if matching before scoring as I wouldn't wouldn't go flat would it oh basically you don't you don't fold this so we are going to be cutting it out however you are, I've still it's got it flat I've scored it I always score first and then I cut that's what I do uh, and Dawn's put both my trimmer has both measurements inches and centimeters so I'm getting better at centimeters well I'm getting I need to learn about inches uh, Betty says use much use centimeters it's much easier well there you go Terry I hope that helps because it doesn't help me <laughs> so 2.2 centimeters is 7 8th of an inch 4.3 centimeters is 1 11 16th of an inch I don't know if I'm saying it right and the size of the overall size which is this bit 24 centimeters which is 9 and 7 16th inches by 21 centimeters which is 8 and a quarter inch there you go uh, oh Susan's put Google a centimeter to inch calculator and it'll convert for you 
Well, I'm sticking, I'm afraid, two centimetres because and millimetres because I find it easier. Right, going back to this, everybody. So, hopefully you're still with me. Um, when it comes to this. So now we are decorating. I've got Charlotte join us. Hello, Charlotte. Right, so you might have downloaded these papers. So I'm going to go for the inside. My inside is going to be done with this. Now, if you've never, when it comes to doing card making, all I'm doing, everybody, is I am using little pen marks. So I want to have this inside. So I can see my score line. Okay. Uh, actually, wrong paper, sorry. This paper. I can see my score line. So all I want to do is I am going to simply line up a little bit there and put a little mark like so. And don't forget, if you've downloaded this, you can print this off again. So I'm just then trimming it down to those marks. And literally, when it comes to, I mean, this is paper is gorgeous. And I've just lost the mark. There it is. I love this paper, so I'm lining it up and I'm trimming it down. I need to keep the off cuts because I will need all of this for my card. So make sure you trim it to where you want it. So this is going to go on here. And this is a top tip. Back this part before you cut the aperture out, everybody. So all I'm doing is using my Beacons glue. You can use double sided tape if you want. Um, Pauline says, I just sent a link to Amazon for a wonderful ruler that has three inch detail measurements. <laughs> well, do you know what? I need to learn about inches. Okay. Everybody keeps asking me about in doing all my sizing in inches and I will try everybody. But it's when you get used to one thing, isn't it? And then I'm wiggling it into place. So make sure I've got a little edge going all the way around it. There we go. Right, so then what will happen is I'm now cutting this. So I'm using this bit, so I am cutting it into, so this is a paper trimmer that has, I don't know if you can see it, can you see that ruler? Um, I need something black. Where is it? So if I use this, you can see, this my paper trimmer, can you see that line in the middle there? That there. So where that line is, that's telling me where it's going to cut. But you can use a knife and a ruler if you want to. And all I'm doing is simply cutting it out. This helps me. So I'm just going to go to the point where I need to go and cut. Obviously, if you want to use your um, nesting dies, you can use your nesting dies if you want to do that. Line it up, cut and go down. So as you can see, I am just simply going round it all like that. Trimming it down to that rectangle that I have actually cut out. And then I'll just turn it over and then I'll have the rectangle. So, oh, I need to actually put a little bit more glue on there. So that is how I cut out a rectangle, everybody. So hopefully you're still with me. So now I use my bone folder. It's very important. Fold over like so. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Pull over, forward first and then back. There you go. So you can see that you end up with that. Then your other part is going, that's going to go on there. I'll come back to decorating that bit in a second. Okay, so that is going to go onto there, like so. And this bit you're going to keep because you are going to use it for mat and layering. Can you see? So I've saved you by doing it, by sticking the card the paper to the card before you cut the aperture out you can then get it all sorted out 
Uh, uh, Kevin says, I can see me using a die for a rectangle. That is fine. You can, if you've got nesting dies, that's why we do our nesting dies, okay? Because they do come in handy. But not everybody has nesting dies, so I've just showed you what to do. And then I want to put this paper in the inside. So I do my top tip about simply just getting, for something like this, I turn the paper over to make sure, and it's going to go, and it has to be inside of the score lines. So I simply just do a little dash and then all the way to the bottom and another little dash so you can see the two dashes and then use your paper trimmer so you can see why a paper trimmer is very handy everybody i think they're back in stock and we also have the blades as well so if anybody wants any and all i'm doing is using those dashes look how easy i've cut out this so now this is going to go in here and you know some people at one time will think this card will be very difficult but look how easy it's coming together so that is my inside I will stick it and then I've got these edges you can then do the whole thing or oops not that one you can mix and match if you want to use these papers or you can just use this leftover bit so all I'm doing everybody is making sure so I'm turning this over like so and then you need to use the score line the score line tells you where you're going to stick and then I want to leave a little one minute wrong pen a little edge so it's going to go there and then from there I'm going to do this side so you can see when it comes to paper crafting once you've got these top techniques it's quite straightforward I've not really measured have I all I've done is line it up to make sure it's straight and that's very important use these lines if, because sometimes you may go off a little bit use the lines as a guide so then you know it's straight and move it to where it needs to be so that's where I want it to go put that down make sure it's push it up make sure it's straight so see it's wobbled a little bit so I'm just pushing that along like so and then I'm going to trim it down there's one and then I'll cut the other one off move it along a little bit so you can use a ruler no problem and a pencil but if you've got a paper trimmer it's going to make your life easier so now they're ready and then we're going to stick everything together. Debbie, can you do a demo on the grotto cards on another day? Actually, yes. Victoria, I will do a grotto card on Tuesday. We will do a grotto card on Tuesday. Oh, I don't remember which is which now. <laughs> Got distracted. Is that that one? That's before I put the glue on. That is that one. Okay. So, yes, I will do a grotto card on Tuesday. But there is a video on YouTube on debbymore.tv um, on my YouTube channel uh, I can see some messages that I've missed um, Pauline said I have purchased 12 inch and 18 inch rulers I have mailed you one to have one to hand oh bless you <laughs> all the numbers are the same direction oh well that's cool right okay uh jenny says love i what i love how you make keep dimensional cards so simple and straightforward but end up looking well thank you for sharing this wonderful tips and creations over the years <gasps> jenny you're very welcome and i've got so many ideas to share with you you know card making is fun everybody it doesn't have to be complicated you need to just break it down okay i don't do complicated right so very important tool is your bone folder especially on this okay so what I'm doing now is we're now going to put everything together so make sure you should have had a ribbon strip okay so I've got a ribbon strip so I want to put my ribbon strip down there and simply just cut it in half now this is all in the download which is totally free for you to enjoy um, could you remind me what glue you prefer I prefer this glue we have it in stock at the moment it's beacon 
okay um, it's this one's called fabric tack which means you can use it on fabric and paper we do also do we you I don't know if there's any in stock three and one glue which isn't for for uh, fabric but Michelle this is the same price we've managed to speak to our supplier so not only does the glue work on paper and it doesn't leave any bulges or anything it works on fabric and somebody give me a message of what you think about beacons glue because I know a lot of you on use it so somebody tell me um, Alice says I've had my Fiskars paper trimmer for nearly 10 years I would never be without it centimeters is better for crafting I can learn to do any but if I can learn anybody can I was brought up in feet and inches oh Jane's put beacons glue one bottle please of course no problem anybody else think beacons glue is good somebody else tell me okay because obviously you know michelle i'm going to say i love beacons glue but i want somebody else to tell me what they think about beacons glue the reason why i love beacons glue is because you don't get any ripples belinda says it's great glue there you go so all i'm doing everybody is i've got what i want now another top tip okay so if you do not have if your ribbon strip doesn't go to the end there's two things that you're going to do because I'm putting I love this is this gorgeous dancing is like dreaming with your feet how cool is that so my ribbon strip is going to go from that end but it doesn't reach that end okay so this is going to go on the end and nobody's going to tell okay and then on the top bit I'm going to cut this in half now we'll put where this is coming from this collection um, it is because I think somebody just asked it is FB uh, FB 277 it's issue 58 which is the art deco one we have it as a download but if anybody wants it physical you can so what I'm doing now I've cut it in half can you see this so this is going to go like so but then don't worry about it not meeting in the middle look at this one dance as if nobody's watching that's going to go in the top uh, loads of people put things on Sandra's loving beacons glue Belinda says it's great glue Anne says look beacons glue is great and Mary's put beacon is the best won't use anything else in card making so easy to use best glue ever and Alice put beacons glue is brilliant I've used it with card and material there you go um, Jenny's put will you get any more Fiskars trimmer blades for the smaller Fiskars trimmer please I am not too sure uh, Jenny um, I'll have a look into that and let you know there you go Michelle all those messages have come up on uh, Facebook with regard to beacons glue so you don't just have to take my word for it all these wonderful crafters agree with me I like the fact that you don't get bubbles and you all know what I mean uh, Maxine says great glue wouldn't use anything else and Bentley's part I have used beacons glue for several years for different things love it on Janet's loving all my tips oh thank you well that's the whole idea you need to you know you coming on here to learn loads of tips and then on here I'm just gluing while I'm chatting how is everybody doing is anybody doing the actual uh, craft along with me or are you watching and then you're going to do it another time okay oops I've missed a little bit on there so let me just trim that down there we go let's line that up give that a little bit of a wiggle room and you need to make sure you have it the right way because that is actually that way yep and the way you can tell by the way um, the way you can tell is that's a double so I could tell that that you have to be careful that you get them the right way so um, yes Angela you can have a what have you put please can I have a one bottle of beacons glue of course you can we have stock at the moment of it a lot of people watching and writing down instructions oh and Betty's put watching in case uh, but Vanessa is trying to keep up that's fine you can keep up and just chatting away okay uh, Don says cutting strips and using the embellishments is brilliant I would never have thought or to do that thank you well Dawn this is why I'm here I'm here to give you ideas and inspiration make your life easier in card making make you smile and not feel frustrated 
okay but look how cool this is coming together uh, a lot of you saying you're watching Diane's point I'm watching we'll make later when puppy is sleeping oh you've got a cute puppy do you know what everybody Dave's agreed that I could have a puppy next year okay oh, he just pulled a face at me he's just put maybe he told me I could have a puppy next year I have always wanted a dog but we need to make sure we have our own house okay so uh, a lot of you are just oh Andrew says I'm just about keeping up oh and what have I got uh and D D's put I'm trying well that's good and Dawn's put um uh, I have everything cut out we'll make it later as I can't fit everything by my computer don't worry uh and Michelle has put hubby kept asking me to do things have the download we'll do later you're welcome does the glue work on Miracad yes Janet does however you have to be careful on sometimes you you just have to make sure you have enough on the mirror card um i've never had it picked up yet but obviously i'm only i mean i've been using beacons glue how long many years have i been using this now i don't know i'm gonna say four i met the owners of it in america um actually it might be six years i don't know <laughs> I'll be honest time just flies so I'm going to so if you're going to use a foam pad look at this this is bigger than here so you don't want to do that I almost did when I wasn't looking so what I'm doing is I'm putting my foam pad on that bit use your pricking tool to pick the top off uh Eileen says I'm just watching I'll watch over the weekend I'll make it brilliant Rolf says I'll definitely make cards like yours oh brilliant Rolf Thank you. Are we international? I've got Rolf from Germany. I've got loads of people from America. I've got Canada. I've got France. Okay. Um, obviously, all around the UK and uh, also Ireland and Scotland. We're really an international family, aren't we? So I'm just going to have that there. And then I'm going to put a foam pad on the top. Or have I put glue? Oh, no, I put glue on that one. Okay. So very straightforward very easy to do happy with that everybody uh, if I miss any message I will let you know I'm just trying to uh, catch up with everything uh, Pat says I'm trying to keep up but you lost me so I'm finishing later uh, you lost me Pat if you need any, if you have any queries let me know uh, D says my card doesn't look too bad well that's good now remember okay the next bit is where uh, oh, and have some exciting news. Some of our Stardust Glitter is back in stock, everybody. Okay, so you can use some glitter to decorate it. So what you need to... Oh, I haven't put glitter... I haven't put glue on the paper. Look at this. I've been chatting too much. I've got Jan just joined us. Hi, Jan. Uh, Tracy says, made some small squeezy cards. They look as good as a big one. Well, this is the thing. Once you get the idea, you can create smaller cards okay you don't have to do this size I've done this size but you do not have to you can actually do smaller ones as well always remember don't put the paper to the score line because the score line needs to fold you need to be able to fold so that's going in there use your bone folder and it's in, you can see I keep recreasing those lines because that is what makes it stand up everybody uh, Karen says yes but not made one for a while well I'm hopefully you are enjoying this then this is going to be the center now it's got a glue so what I need to do is wiggle it into place so what you need to make sure it is in the center there we go that is about where I want it and then this is going to go on there so when you see it you can see that can you see what I'm doing everybody now this you can use foam pads to make it stand up you know you could print it off again and you can decoupage it the like and share Valerie is to tell me whether you make art deco cards or you have before you haven't this is new range to you now this is exciting it's so easy to do to put together um, now top tip foam pads I really should do another foam pad on the end there but for quickness wiggle room put glue on the foam pads okay you will have 
a few seconds of wiggle. Look, can you see it's moving? I love the fact that you've got that. So it enables me to get it in the center and straight and then press down. And then this is going to go on here, everybody. So you can see that this needs to line up with this. And then you have that bit in the middle. And then all I'm doing is I'm using the Beacons glue again. And, you know, you can use double-sided tape. There's nothing wrong with double-sided tape. I like the wiggle room. You could essentially put double-sided tape on and then you could even put glue on top. And that's extra. But look at that. Oops, that doesn't look straight. Have I not put glue on there? I don't think I have. I think that's left. I don't think I have. Let me just get some foam pads and put some that's what I'm going to do. So any questions, let me know. Uh, okay, I've got, we're nearly coming to the end, but I want to create, I'm going to do a bow using my bow maker. Uh, Mag says, Debbie and Dave, I'm not making this tonight as I'm in bed. Had a really bad knee for about eight weeks now. I made your squeezy card for 40th birthday, found it really easy. I'm an inch girl. <laughs> um, but thought I would do it in centimetres for a change and it worked perfectly. Brilliant. Well, I'm learning about inches, okay? Uh, I'm a centimetre girl and I'm just, just learning for everybody. And then this is going to go in the middle like so. And on the original one, okay, everybody, there is a bow. And we do have these, uh, I think it's five metres of mixed ribbon for 2 99 And we do have that. However, I have my brand new bow maker, which I am totally in love with. And this is why I left over this leftover bit of paper. And this, this desk is even getting worse. So let me just find my bow maker, which is under here. There we go. So, the bow maker, did you get one when we had them? We have them, so it's the basic one. It creates 3D bows. You've got two different sizes. Um, so you are going to be able to create two different size bows and you can create different ways of bows. So all you do, I am getting, I'm going to be doing this and I'm literally going to use this size so all you do, um, so I'm just, I work in centimetres, it could be easier, but inches really, as I now how, know how big inches are and haven't a clue about centimetres, <laughs> I know the feeling. So I am using my bow maker and I'm going to die cut that lovely paper out. Oh no, I'm sure I had another off cut. Talk amongst yourselves while I find this other paper. Or oh, let me just do it this way. So, this will fit on. There we go. <laughs> I will make it fit. I bet you all do the same. I know you're probably laughing at me, but I bet you all do the same. I love the fact that you can create, if you don't have the ribbon, you can create your own bows. Okay. <gasps> Wouldn't that be dead cool to create a wreath out of paper bows? I mean, it'll get messy very quickly. So I'm using my die cut machine. And at the moment, I am using a spell binders, but I got sent a present from the lovely Leanne from Crafters Companion. And she sent me a Gemini, which I need to get set up and I will. Um, but I haven't actually, <laughs> I need to reorganize my desk properly. So for now, I'm just using a hand-rolled one. And there you go. It's die-cut it beautifully. And you can see that my plates are well used, everybody. And then there's that bit. Then you've got this bit, which you need. So let me just take the bits out of the way so you can see how easy it is to create a bow. So you've got one, two, three parts of the bow. Oh, acetate, yes, we've got loads of acetate. I tend to use acetate. Right, okay. Jenny says, yes, one of my favourite themes and how I found you. Ah, oh, brilliant. 
So all I'm doing is I'm using my fingers to curl. Another one to use is if you've got your ball tools, are great for curling as well to give it a lovely curl. Use your ball tools. Okay, we had these on a couple of months ago. Okay, and then as you can see, it's going round and round and round. There we go. And then what I want to do, you can simply just get your glue. Uh, oh, Jeanette says, I purchased a Gemini 2 yesterday. Well, I have got to get it all set up when I've got room. I will try and do that. Um, so let's get this bow done. Put this on here. And then simply, you could put ink, you could print both sides. You can use distress inks to cover the white if you want. Okay. Now, the idea behind it, everybody, is you put that on there. Like that to create the bow. And that wraps around. And that can go on that corner. Okay. Or, here's another way you might not be aware. You cut the bow in half. I've lost it like this and you create a different type of bow like that can you see so that's going to go like so but I want to wrap this bit in the middle first oh Betty uses a pencil to roll them yeah you can do them different ways I use I tend to use the ball tool because I find it much easier and then all I'm doing, everybody, so this is using that bow set. This is the smaller one. You can do a double bow if you want to. You wrap this bit in the middle, like so. You can trim off the excess because you do have a little bit of excess. And then what I do, there we go, is I then use the other part of it. So... I decide I wiggle room. I love this glue for wiggle room. So you put them at an angle. And then what I'm doing is I'm doing the wiggle room. There we go. On that. Turn it over. Victoria says, never thought of doing bows that way. It's a brilliant. Thank you for the tip. Oh, you are welcome. It looks like I'm having loads of tips for everybody today. So that's going to go on there. Like so. Actually, I don't know if I want it on there. <laughs> now that I've done it oh it's going to go on there I don't know if I want it on there let's have a think yeah that will go on there so I'm going to put that on there like so and then so this is the bow maker if you haven't got one get one because it's worth doing you would have had loads of elements on here so a couple of things to let you know you can Put an acetate in if you want to. Uh, if you saw the technique on Tuesday, I was showing you about acetate. You can actually, we've got our acetate sheets. You could actually put acetate on there. And I'll tell you what, the technique that I shared with you about using acetate. And don't forget to use your these gel pens, because we now have them back in stock, to create a snow effect. And all you need to do is like this circles and simply do dots I mean if you have a stencil you could do this with stencil paste as well but this is easier so you can make your own snow acetate so you can see how that is but you'd have to leave it to dry okay and you can then have almost like a Christmas scene okay um, it's a really, you know, a really way, good way of doing it. So these are white gel pens. I think they're £2.50 uh, if you want one, okay? Uh, and the acetate is £4.49. Oh, what have I done with the acetate? I did have it somewhere. Um, David, is there a sheet of acetate underneath that box in a bag? No. Okay, everybody, I don't know what I've done with it. I had it out somewhere. I'll find it. Anyway, so you get 10 A4 sheets for 4 49 if you do want acetate. Really good acetate. Looks how good. 
Uh, no Morse code tonight, Tracy, that's for sure. I was just showing how you can create your own snow on acetate. Um, and I had it somewhere, but you, sh you should see my desk. Actually, you don't want to see the desk because it's a bit of a mess. Um, right, okay. So just to recap, this is from item, what item is that? It is from the magazine. Now, we do have some of the magazines left. Um, they come with a die if you want the die, but this has a download. So as you can see, I use mine all the time. It says issue 58. You get £40 worth of goodies for 9 99 including all those Art Deco papers. You've got 40 selection of papers from the backing papers right down to the design sheets. Beautiful designs for you can do. Uh, yes, Maureen, you can have a pack of acetate. Hi, Dorian. I haven't seen you in a while. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, so this is from the magazine. This is a digital download option. Gorgeous artwork. Not only do you get 40 pullouts, you get the full collection. And I love this. If I can show you without... Let me just do this. I'm just showing you. I'm putting my hand over the code. You get the side scene collection. You get four a full collection worth normally $17.99 in there as well. Obviously, if anybody's wanting the, the magazine as, where's the front cover? Uh, the magazine as itself with the die, you can get that. We do have some stock of that. Okay, so that is from the Craft Along. I hope you enjoyed it and to be able to create this 3d card don't forget you get loads of sheets loads of elements on it okay i showed you how easy it was if you just joined us i've just done a step by step on how to create this uh tracy says you need to do some art deco ribbon for a wreath that is a good idea for those people that just joined us don bibby has designed a fabulous wreath kit for me and this is my new wreath and i was showing you how easy it was to make a wreath this is called a bow wreath kick and you do need so what colors next a gold one and simply all you do is tie a bow okay so the kit itself is 32.99 it comes with everything that you need from all the ribbon the instructions the decoration you get the ring as well and literally all you're doing look at this you fold it or tie it into bow look at that how easy it is and that's how fabulous it is i'm totally hooked i'm going to be doing loads for my new house okay but this has been designed by don bibby and all you're doing is doing loads of bows and what we have is this is fb2773 uh if you want in the rings i don't know what i've done with it there it is okay wanting the rings on their own 199 everybody you can't wire base 199 and you can have a go with your own ribbon if you have your own ribbon and the other thing that i'm going to be adding where is it is so we also had another collection from dawn if you wanted this collection so that creates this wreath and then you can add if you're going for any of the wreath centers you can have the, add it as a Merry Christmas, so that's going to go potentially on there. And it is a fabulous way of doing it, okay? And these are the MDF recenters. You get one of these and you get a large bauble, which I've lost. Oh, there it is. There you go. So you can do it, they're called your recenters, or you can use them for DIY or even as a Christmas tree decoration. They're quite bigger than normal, if that's what you like. And then the other one, I mean, these are great. Okay, if you want to actually, I was showing you Dawn's um, ribbon wrapper. Okay, so this is by Dawn Bibby, she's designed this. And this is her ribbon wrapper. And how you get the right size of ribbon is you get your ribbon you put it on one side and then you just go around like this and then you cut it okay like so and then simply all you do is fold that in half and then cut that to get that lovely finish like so 
and do the same on the other and then you tie them round your ring so if you want one of these ribbon wrappers $4.89 brilliant price everybody okay um, Alice says I used to make holly wreaths had to stop because my hands got sore I will try making a ribbon one yes definitely have a go at that okay and then that is your uh, ribbon wrapper and then essentially the only other thing that I haven't showed you, if anybody wants one of Dawn's other reefs, okay, it's the blue one, which is the navy tree. So if anybody's going for silver and uh, blue, navy bow wreath, all this. It comes with three snowflake decorations as well. It's $32.99. It's FB2775. However, the drum roll, please. The bit that I'm so excited about is the brand new collection due out later this month of our Art Deco Moonlight Dreams. This one is a little bit different. It is for throughout the year. I've designed it because obviously it's November now, everybody. And I know, oh, a little bit of that. I know I'm a bit late for Christmas, but I wanted you, and a lot of people have already made their Christmas cards. So what I wanted is a collection that is not just for Christmas, it's for throughout the year. So as you can see, you have got general designs on here. You've got every day anniversary just for both of you. This is a new collection that is due out. I've even given you, I love this new colorway. I want a dress in this, it's like a teal. I love the teal and we've done some ombre so that's coming out but then of course we've got Christmas as well and I've got some new characters and she beautiful everybody so uh, we have some new characters coming out and we're going to have some new frames nesting dies and these you can cut them out and also I have made this gorgeous character into into a darker colorways because she was a couple of years ago on one of our collections but she was only available in like lilacs and aquas, uh, not dark colorways. So I've got her in. And then you've also got uh, three other color, uh, characters, which are going to be a surprise because these are just happening as we speak. So if you want, this is going to be one of the biggest Art Deco collections that I've done in a while. So it's FB2778. If you would like to go for the USB key, obviously as a download, everybody, it is FB2778. And talking of downloads, what I've got, um, the last item that we have, and I don't know what I've done with the card samples. I can't show you how messy this desk is. Okay. For a download, we've given you this Art Deco Decoupage and Topic Digital Kit, 32 crafting sheets. Look at the price, everybody, $3.99. Okay, so it's all about Art Deco. She is one of my favorites. So what you're going to get is the character sheet so you can do your decoupage if you want to, or you can actually just um, create the scene with those beautiful scenes on there. So you're going to get 32 um, crafting sheets that you can create only $3.99. Um, I can see loads of messages coming through that I might have missed. So sorry, everybody. Um, I can, thank you for your lovely messages. I'll try to catch up on it. Um, so this is the last item for tonight. So we're going to be finishing off the show. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to create a squeezy card. Yes, you can. If anybody wants this, it's FB. Um, FB2781 is the new... Uh, offer on a digital download I can see people going for it we'll keep up that image still we'll show you that image so you can still see it FB2781 and you're going to get 32 crafting sheets and as you can see that is all that you're going to get along there and it's got it is a Christmas collection but yet again it is just so gorgeous everybody um, I hope you've enjoyed the inspiration. I know it's been a little bit crazy. Um, and Jenny's loving the wreath. Thank you for another. Jenny's put, love the squeezy card. So effective. Such a pretty wreath. Thank you for another inspira inspiring show. You are very welcome. I can see, you know, there's messages that I've missed. I'm sorry. If you have any questions or queries, put them in the feed and Jessica will pick them up as well as myself. So we're going to be finishing off the show. Um, oh, Christine, I like what you put. You put, love the demo, have this magazine, but I haven't made anything from it. You've given me the inspiration to do it. Brilliant. I like to hear that. Okay. I like to see that. Now, yes, if anybody wants anything in particular, just let me know. Now, remember... 
with anything that this is from a download we put the link on and we'll put a reminder out but I showed you how easy it was to create it look it stands up the trick of standing it up everybody is your bone folders to Chris to make that to make the edge in nice and crisp and of course you can then put a message on the back uh, and have your give it away it can, you can make a box for it or it can go completely flat whichever way you want to so remember that's how easy it is to do a squeezy card and you can actually don't have to have it as an aperture so I think I've actually had all your messages oh um, I've just got a message says um, from um, Lucille I have finished the card but I did not glue the image straight or maybe you can lift it up Lucille and stick it back down I am so glad that you've enjoyed it now um, did you start late today no well if I did I think it was like three minutes past um, I am over on the time uh, by about five minutes uh, Margaret says the more I see you the more I learn oh Margaret thank you I'm glad that you keep learning because that means I'm doing my job right okay I'm sharing ideas uh, Lucille says really great show with a lot of tips well this is what you will always get with Debbie Moore Designs I want to share how fabulous it is to be able to create cards like this you can do things like this as well okay this is one of the stepper cards you've got easels you've got twisted easels this is all from that magazine okay everybody so it is worth getting the magazine because it shows you all the different tips on there we talk about different techniques that you can create okay uh, she's lovely isn't she a lot gorgeous character you've got fold over cards you know once you get the idea you've got all these shapes where you can enjoy from there okay so I'm gonna finish off um, we're just going to recap and then of course I've got to pick a winner um, for today that we have got okay so the um, talking of the last item so that was FB 2777 that's digital download don't forget if anybody wants the actual physical kit to let me know Chris put I'm, I am learning every show but don't have enough time to do everything I want you and me both Chris you and me both uh, Bentley says keep every magazine and refer to them all the time that is brilliant and Belinda said put some acetate with outlines of curtains so you could look through the window Belinda that's a brilliant idea I love that idea right before I get distracted okay uh, and oh Dawn said didn't start till 2 30 today I think you have already changed back to standard time that doesn't change till Sunday ah oh Dawn thank you so yes that's where the difference is in the UK um our clocks went was it back last week which means although I started at 6.30, it would be 5.30 in some places. Is that right? I've already got a headache. I'm not going to go there, everybody. Uh, Andrea said, Debbie, I have been making books galore this week from last week's demo. Oh, Andrea, that's brilliant. And Victoria says, I made a Twisted Easel Halloween card on my stream last weekend. My viewers love it. I used your gnomes of enchantment for it. Oh, Victoria, that sounds amazing. Right, okay. So if anybody had just joined us, one last thing to remind you, you can just, I always say, if you want to order any of the products, put the codes into your comments. And all you need to do, everybody, is, as you can see, there's a code FB2777 on that. And all you need to do is simply uh, put them into your comments and it'll be allocated to you. And then the show will then be closed down. This will be left open until the weekend. So if anybody is watching and catch up, hello. I uh, hope you've enjoyed creating this fabulous squeezy card. And don't forget to get your free papers to be able to create this at DebbieMoreDesigns.com. Uh, now, for those people that are getting, have ordered anything, you will get an invoice email. So you will actually get it and you'll get it as a payment link. We'll put the information up, okay, so we can go through it one last time. Because on, on the, um, you can actually pay by different ways with regard to the payment link. You can pay by debit card, credit card and PayPal. You can even contact the office. Now we always say to everybody, if anybody has any questions or queries, just put them in the feed and we'll try to catch up with everybody. Uh, but you can also invoice, sorry, email us at info at and private messages 
messages at Debbie Moore Designs. Our telephone number is 07553 457 168. So for anybody that is brand new, please private message me your email address and your post address so we can set up your account and send you your information. Right, uh, that's the rest of that. Drum roll, please. We have two winners to announce. Anne Warham, congratulations. You are last week's second winner. And then Julia Sandra Matthews is the first winner for this week's Like and Share. Now, remember, we're now doing two different Like and Share, giving people a chance on Catch Up to have a go at Like and Share in our page. So, therefore, it's out across the board. So, congratulations to those two. Please, can you make sure you private message me your postal address so we can get everything sent out to you? But don't all go away yet because I'm giving everybody a little gift. And this one, it's an Art Deco theme, so therefore I'm giving you something Art Deco. So this started off, oh my goodness, over three and a half years ago. And it started off when we get, went into lockdown. It was a treasure hunt. And this is what I'm doing. You have a treasure hunt that you can hunt out every weekend. And only people on Facebook actually see this okay or, or, or YouTube I should say anybody watching my live shows and this is a present from me to you to say thank you for your continued support the only one little catch is you can you please make something with it and make it something for charity make it for a key worker a relative that you haven't seen for a while or even for charity pass it on and share the love of creativity uh, so this week the thing to two things you need to remember is today's date which is the 2nd of November you can see on the screen and the code for this week, the discount code or treasure hunt code is FB wreath because I used, I actually had a go at doing wreath making for the first time. So you get to actually um, experience that and please have a go at it because it's amazing. It's so easy to go. And if you missed it, watch it back because you'll be able to be astounded by Don Bibby's technique of bow making collections. So all you need to do with regard to that download treasure hunt is nip over to Debbie Moore Designs not tonight from midday tomorrow so whereabouts in the world you are simply uh <laughs> um just remember it's uk time after 12 o'clock tomorrow i'll load up your little gift and it's a little weekend project for you to download and enjoy you'll have some papers now when you see it it'll have a price on if you pop it into your basket at debbiemoredesigns.com go to the products and printable downloads and remember you're all part of my crafting community even if you just started tonight okay nip it put it in your basket i'll have a price on but put the code fb wreath and it'll go completely free download it enjoy it have loads of crafting fun and it's art deco and from what i saw a lot of you love art deco which i think is amazing i have so many ideas coming up especially that new collection thank you for all your your messages i'm going to be signing off i have got my dinner in a slow cooker it's almost like somebody making dinner uh for me i love it uh i'm going to sign off i want to say thank you for your continued support i am back here on tuesday at 11 o'clock a.m uk time and hopefully bella will be doing her show on wednesday at 6 30 but I'll also be back next Thursday for some more crafting fun with Debbie Moore Designs. So take care of yourself. God bless you all. Keep crafting. Keep smiling. Enjoy the week and have a fabulous time. And I look forward to seeing you again for some more crafting fun. Mwah! Loads of kisses and hugs to everybody. And I'll see you next week. Have a fabulous weekend, everybody.